All right, guys, the complex moves can seem like a lot of fun. And it can seem like you should start with those when you're learning skill moves. But today, I'm gonna to be going over the secret to complex moves and how you can actually get them to a point where you can use them in matches. That's coming up next. All right, guys, so what is the secret to more complex moves? How can you get better at these? And the first thing we have to start off with is breaking down a complex move. For me, usually a complex move, just like the name suggests, involves one, actually more than one move. That's the only difference I see. Sure, certain moves look a little more fancy. For example, some people think the Maradona is a fairly fancy move. It is a hard move because you have to time it, but the actual movements of it are what? Two simple drag backs while turning. The Elastico is another one that's seen as a fairly complex move, a fairly very skillful, skillfully technical move. But what is the Elastico? It's two touches done very quickly like that. And of course, there's a bit more to it. You can do the reverse Elastico too. Two very quick touches. What is some of these combination moves you see players like Neymar doing? It's just one drag back under the foot, one over. So what do all these things I'm saying have in common? They're all made up of basic, simple, fundamental skill moves. This one, just a drag followed by a drag. The Maradona, two drags like that. The Elastico, two simple touches done quickly in quick succession. So what do you need to do first before you move on to some combination moves? What do you need to do first before you try and break some ankles with the Elastico? You need to learn the touches that lead up to it. You're not gonna be able to do a Maradona until you can drag the ball back, until you've mastered using the ball with the sole of your foot. You're not gonna do the Elastico until you can quickly shift out here, until you can take quick touches with the inside and outside of your feet, right? You're not gonna do this, I don't know what it's called, until you can simply drag it across your body. I may have already actually mentioned this. But once you can do that, you can start throwing in other components. Once you can do the L, you can start making it a little more complex. So the point, the secret behind complex moves is they're made of simple moves. So how do you get good at complex moves? You master the simple moves first. There's a reason on this channel I highlight the step overs and the croys and the drags and you know, I still, I'll throw in a slap cut or two. Sure, because I know you guys like that, but you should not be moving on to that stuff until you can do the chop, until you can do the croy. If you want to be able to come here and then cut back that way, well, what's that made up of? First, get good at the step over, and then the Ronaldo chop. That's what it's made up of. So guys, this is a very simple video, but complex moves, the secret to them, is they're made up of simple moves. Master the simple movements first. Master the ball at your feet first. Ball mastery. Master the body feint. Master the, the step over. Master the Cruyff. Before you move on to the snake. Before you move on to, you know, ground moves or com more complex moves. You don't need that stuff right now. It's good. It looks cool. And it will work. But guess what works more? The Cruyff. The body feint. Simple drag moves like this work beautifully. So start with those ones. One thing I'll add guys is, I get a lot of comments and I know I will here about it's easy, I can already do it. And inevitably these comments are usually from very young players. I don't care if you can do it. Not to sound mean. I don't care if you can go like this. Can you do it faster? Can you do it in a match? Can you fool a defender doing it? I don't care if you can do the motion of a Cruyff. I could get a three-year-old to do the motion of a Cruyff if I instructed him to do it very slowly. It's not about whether you know it. It's not about whether you can physically do the movement. How fast, how clean, how well, how effectively can you do it? So keep that in mind when you're doing your skill moves. It's not about going out there and being able you know, to do the move in any form. It's about being able to do it well. So you might know the Cruyff, you might know the step over, you might know the body feint. Those moves are good, for, good enough for players like Ronaldo, Messi, um, Mbappe. They're good enough for you, master those moves. And then you can get into some of the more fun moves, some of the more complex moves. And you can trip over the ball sometimes too. Then you can get into moves that are a little more complicated, but please, the secret to learning those moves is first mastering the basics. Build up the foundation. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like videos like this. 
Check out my other skill videos. Check out the two videos that are up on the screen. I'm out of breath. I'm in hot Thailand right now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.